Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually coming to you guys with another wig review and this one I'm actually really really excited about because it's a color that I haven't seen you know just anywhere. This wig I spotted a couple of months ago I want to say about three to four months ago and I knew I needed to get my hands on it. It is a very long colorful wig but it's also dark and pretty. So the wig that I'm talking about today is the Free Tress Equal Lace Front. Um, this one is the Mackenzie wig and it's in the shade Turquoise. I want to say that the color in the front right here is actually the purple black one, um, but it is so beautiful on the model, so I'm hoping I can rock this the same. So as you guys can see, this wig comes in a box. This is actually the first wig I've ever received that comes in a box. So this has an invisible deep part, so it should look a lot more natural as far as that goes. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take her out of the box. I haven't even seen her yet, guys. Like, I've been waiting waiting so whoop. so diva trust sent me out this unit and i'm super excited to be able to try them out so if you're interested in this wig or any other wigs um feel free to follow the link down below i leave all the information down there including the direct link to this bad boy right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and open her up here <gasps> i see that she looks very dark and she is in the shade um turquoise so it's like turquoise with black i'm going to take her out of the packaging which she's attached to okay so this is this beauty right here um she has the lace right in the front the part looks amazing and deep um the color it's like this i don't even think my camera's going to capture it very well but it is almost like a deep turquoise color like i can zoom in and show you guys um, she has a lot more highlight and in the light um, with me it looks more vibrant turquoise um, and I think on the camera it's translating more like a like a really pretty blue but once I hold it up to the light I get more of that turquoise reflex to it she has a really pretty curl pattern because I just filmed a tutorial on this look right here I juiced up all the batteries so I had to switch it sorry about that but anyway guys this is her right here she's beautiful she has the lace has about one inch of this so I'm sure you can work the part however you want to but I like this deep set part the hair feels soft so it says here that it could be curled up to 380 degrees to 400 degrees Fahrenheit I don't recommend that um, I actually don't recommend that at all I don't recommend going any higher than 350 for any units um, especially synthetic hair so but it does say 380 to 400 I just don't recommend it me personally but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and flip her over as you can see there is about an inch of lace I'm gonna flip her in and out she has the baby hairs in the back I'm gonna flip her inside out. She has the lace front right here that's holding the natural section for the part. And she has two short combs, which I like because they grip the hair, and one comb on the back. And she also comes equipped with straps. I love the adjustable straps. This is actually my favorite build of wig. I'm actually gonna preset this so I could just throw her on and go, honey. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut the lace and come back and throw her on for you guys. So I recommend when you cut the lace that you work as close as you possibly can, but if you don't feel comfortable working too close to the wig, that's okay. You can always um, tuck it in or blend it into the natural hair, like using concealer or foundation or whatever. I don't, I'm comfortable with cutting it close to the hairline. I'm gonna go in and take my little scissors. I recommend hair scissors or small pointed scissors like this. And as you guys can see, I'm like, I'm being careful, but because I'm used to doing this, I'm a little bit more comfortable with it. So I'm leaving about a decimal of an inch in, as the difference there, as you can see. So I'm cutting a little bit, but you know. And I take it step by step, like I don't just go right in. I work with the hairline. The countdown has just begun. So this is the piece right here. She is very full and curly and 
I personally do not like the center part here, but I'm just throwing her on how I see her on the model. Um, who, by the way, is freaking gorgeous. I love her lipstick. Anyway, um, we're kind of matching. Um, so this is her right here, and this is kind of like, it kind of, I love the curl pattern on this, to be honest. I'm trying to feel... The cap feels a little loose. I did bring her back a little bit. Luckily for me, I have dark roots already. So when I had my red hair, it was a little bit more difficult to do. I didn't throw on a wig cap. Um, she feels so lush and au natural. Um, the wig feels a little thin in the back, but not too bad. Um, I feel like this side swoops down a little bit more. I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like this side swoops down a little bit more. So I, what I want to do is see if I can twist her a little bit and kind of give me that kind of side part that I like without ruining the length, per se. So, cap feels snug. I will show you her length from the front. Ooh, she's very lush. That's, that's the word, lush. So this is the length right here. It's a about if it's straightened it would be like a 22 inch wig um but i i feel like they've been sending me i picked out some like 18 20 inch wigs the cap on this feels a little larger than the other wigs that i've tried on just a little bit it has more room on the top so if you have fuller hair i think that you can benefit from a cap like this um, on the sides, I can secure it a little bit more. So I do feel like the cap is a lot bigger. It's not loose where I can't work with this at all. Um, I will show you guys the back. Um, this is the wig cap itself. I do feel like it's a little thin, but I can probably work with it. So this is her right here. She's very loose and curly and fun. Um, I love her feel. She looks like a good piece she looks like a good unit here um it's not too shiny um it might translate different on camera i feel like the turquoise is not picking up as much as i see it in person it's not a vibrant uh turquoise but it is a really pretty different like you would know it's a different color there is some fallout as you guys can see there i'm not sure if this will show the color a little i'm curling her like that completely so yeah you could it looks like you can just twist her and make her like more into more uniform uh curls it looks like or take her apart and rock the hell out of like some loose curls girl so i actually like that option to be able to twist her and rock her one way she is really pretty. Overall, Free Trust did an amazing job at the build of this unit right here, and I'm actually very, very excited. The hair feels soft, natural. It moves around beautifully. It curls. The curls are great. The style is beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm in love. So yeah, I can't thank Diva Trust enough for sending me this unit. She's absolutely gorgeous. The color is something i don't have in my collection and she's definitely fun so i will leave the link down below where you can get this unit this is the mckenzie unit from free trust equal and you can get it at divatrust.com all the information will be linked down below i feel like the units that the diva trust carries are very well known and very trusting and i absolutely love these they're very inexpensive compared to what's out there in the world so go ahead and check them out Feel free to leave a thumbs up for this video. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. I feel like a sexy drag queen. What do you want to be when you grow up, Evie? A drag queen. Okay. I'll go with that.